This is the graph of the cosecant curve. Which we know is the graph of 1 over sine. So on this vertical axis, we're going to graph the cosecant of theta. And on this axis, we're going to graph theta. Notice that we're going from negative 2 pi to positive 2 pi. For the domain, we're going to use every value for theta except for the following. Well, we're not using 0, we're not using pi, we're not using 2 pi, or negative pi, or negative 2 pi. So it looks like multiples of pi. So how we would write that is for the domain, move this over just a little bit so it writes better. So for the domain, we want all values except for those. So what we would write is the following. Actually, let's write this below so that I've got more room. So our domain is theta such that theta is a real number. Because any one of these real numbers up here, except theta cannot equal a multiple of pi. So there we go. That gets all of those taken care of. So let's erase this. Now what about the range? Well the range is all the values vertically. So what I pretend is that I'm walking on the y-axis. I'm going this way. And I say at each y value do I see a graph. So I'm going to look these two ways. As I move up my graph I'm going to say do I see something? So I'm going to see something from the following. So I'm going to do this in yellow as well. I'll do this up on the side here because I should have enough room for the range. Okay. I'm going to see something from negative infinity all the way up to, and this guy right here, I'm going to put a line right here. This is a height value of negative 1. So this is negative 1 on the list. So I see everything from negative infinity all the way up here to negative 1 because I'll see a graph. Like if I'm standing right here, I see a graph here, I see a graph here, okay, I see it. It's all over the place. But I don't see any graph in this middle area. So I'm going to stop up here at negative 1. Of course I see something at negative 1 so I want to include that and I want to union that with from positive 1. So I don't see anything in this middle section but I start to see stuff here at positive 1 and as I work my way up. So we're going to go from 1 to infinity and not include infinity because you never include infinity. So there's your domain down here and here's your range up here.